Hey Andre, welcome to another video from the Chicago Auto Show and this is a truly unique unveiling. Obviously it's a Bronco, but it's not a regular Bronco, is it? It's a new member of the Bronco family. This is the Bronco Everglades for 2022 and it makes its world debut here at the Chicago Auto Show. And in this video, we're gonna crawl all over it. We're gonna crawl underneath it. We're gonna tell you what makes it special. Andre's gonna break it. Don't break it, Andre. <laughs> all right, so what makes it special? I believe that's called Eruption Green. It sounds dirty, but it's not. Well, look at it. Is it good on camera? Can you, can you see this green? I love this color. So uh, what is Everglades, right? So there's many other options you can get for the Bronco, but this is unique. Uh, because they've improved its water forging ability in several different ways. Uh, they added the snorkel, they added the winch that's part of the package. We wrapped it all together um, and we'll show you everything in this video and also tell you the starting price. All right, that is a beefy hook to the winch, Andre. Look at that bad boy. That is beefy. This is a, a 10,000 pound, <clears throat> excuse me. Yeah. 10,000 pound worn winch and it actually showed it. We have it on TikTok unveiling itself. It took its own veil off. We actually showed it on this channel too, so. Okay. Yeah, you can see it being unveiled because they used a winch to pull off the cover on it. Now, of course, uh, the color is reminiscent of the Everglades, right? Yeah. Uh, and not only is it winched, but it's also lifted and tired. So it's basically a Sasquatch, yes. right? Uh -huh. So it's got 35 inch tall tires. <laughs> uh, the, uh, kind of the suspension height and design. Um, and it's the latest, uh, what they call uh, hot suspension. But this is unique to the Everglades. Uh, this is a new design on the snorkel. And you could do a couple things from it. So this plate can come off. So you can take this off, put it on the other side. Sorry about that. Uh, or vice versa, right? Yeah, so, okay. so uh, this is more for like what, like dust or water, you know, different different use cases. I gotta say, I do love the little wading Sasquatch right there. Oh, he's in the water. He's in the water. Yeah. Okay, that's pretty cool. So let's show him the inside of this thing. Yeah. So the big deal here is that actually down here. Okay. Because it has vinyl floors and also drainable. So there's a, basically a drain plug here. Oh, I wish you could see it. It's too dark. Um, there's a drain plug. So the whole idea is uh, they raised the water fording depth three inches from about 33 and a half to 36 and a half. So that's basically uh, three feet, right? Yeah, I could see like the Jeep Wrangler saying, hold my beer, Andre. I've had a drain plug since back since in the Willys days. <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> uh, so, so you can wash out the interior, right? Yeah. It's kind of vinyl floor. Um, and then it's going to be available like this as a four door. Uh, once again, uh, Dude, unique wheels. We gotta check this out. So this is a Sasquatch wheel. It's kind of like retro style. Yeah, it's uh, kind of old school. Yeah, a little bit old schoolish. Yeah, and I do like uh, the kind of the the, the matte, uh, almost industrial colored roof. Uh, yeah. And is that the standard roof that every Bronco gets, or only this yeah. one? No, this um, is the same top. Okay. A uh, hard top. Um, and it's only gonna be powered, this edition of it, for 2022, only with a four-cylinder turbo. So you cannot get this with a V6. Um, it has a 270 horsepower, 310 pound-feet of torque, uh, 2.3 liter. So you can't get the uh, 2.7 or the three liter that's over there in the Bronco Raptor. Well, yeah, because that's why you get the Bronco Raptor or other Broncos. Right. So you think that the uh, power plant is big enough to roll those big uh, 35s? I don't, I don't know, but I think maybe this is maybe more for calling. Okay. That's my guess. Okay. Oh, and then so back here, you got more. Standard, yeah. Kind of standard interior, right? Yeah, yeah. But you see eruption green everywhere. <laughs> so so let's look at the front once again. Okay, watch and it. And talk about price. Yeah. Uh, you're supposed to close. You know, you're doing it in the wrong order, Andre. There you go. You got to remember that. If you're going to be a happy Bronco owner, you don't want to smash it. Oh, interior. Let's look at yeah, let's look at this side. Yeah, let's go and show this side. This is, uh, you know, the smaller screen, right, uh, from the Bronco Raptor. Yeah. Uh, but otherwise, it's got the GOAT modes, you know, right there. Uh, and, of course, it's got the usual... Front row locker, rear locker. Or, yeah, that. yeah. Uh, a little dark in here, you know. I mean, the criticism of the Bronco has always been that the interior doesn't live up to the entry-level um, price point. But this is also kind of marine grade material, right? yeah. so it can get wet. So the whole theme is, um, it's not afraid of water. It's like almost like a wetsuit, right? Yeah. That's what we're kind of looking at. So basically you have the same ground clearance as a Sasquatch package, uh, Bronco, but you're getting a winch. 
some of the other touches with the snorkel, overall, you know, the whole Bronco together. The starting price is $53,000, dude. Yeah, it's not cheap, dude. But then again, the starting price of that one is much more. 69 now. <laughs> yeah. And we have a separate video about that. We do, we did one. If you're interested in the Bronco Raptor, uh, just you know, scroll through TFL or go to tfl-studios.com and you'll see where uh, uh, we've got a chief engineer interview on that video. So uh, Andre, A or B? If it was your money, Bronco Raptor, 400 horsepower or four cylinder, uh, this. Yeah, yeah. I don't know why the blue screen is here. Well, yeah. Let's show them just in case I can see what it looks like. So this is the bad boy dude, Bronco. I know, the, I know this is going to be more expensive. Yes. But dude, it's on 37s. It's got up to, you know, over potentially 400 horsepower. That has 270, but it's good for crawling, right? So it depends on what you want. Uh, obviously, they have all kinds of different choices. You know, the more I look at it, the more I love the wheels. I think those are really cool. By the way, do you notice anything? This is a little squared off. Oh yeah, okay, so that's different too, huh? Yeah. Nice. So it's a squared off look, so let us know what you think. You know what else has the squared off wheel arch? What's that? A Wrangler. Okay. <laughs> All right, well, so obviously they're uh, they're copying a Wrangler. So guys, here, I'm going to give you this. Yeah. Uh, in case you're curious, uh, we are here at the Chicago Auto Show, my hometown, where we just had some Chicago-style hot dogs. And Andre, you put ketchup on them. Do not put ketchup on dogs in Chicago. It is sacrilege. No, actually, I put tomato, uh, diced tomatoes, and also uh, beets. mustard. Beets. <laughs> and beets and mustard. <laughs> it's a very Russian way. <laughs> and then you down it with a shot of vodka. <laughs> I'm not drinking. No, no, I was not drinking. We're, we're kidding. But anyway, guys, thank you for joining us here in Chicago. Go to tfl-studios.com for more news, news and, of course, the latest breaking news from Chicago. We'll see you soon. Bye. Yep.